What's up guys, thanks for watching my first ever video and today I'm going to show you how to improve your weak foot coming up. So after doing a simple 10 to 15 minute dynamic warm up just to get the muscles loose, I decided to do about 300 reps of some freestyle juggling, just keeping it below waist height, alternating the feet and just having some fun with it, you know, getting loose, getting the touches in before a good training session. Now I'm just going to let this play out a little bit until the next drill. So this next variation is very similar, however it does help your first touch as well. It's very simple, it just incorporates both of your feet using two touches alternating. And I really like this because if you're not too confident with your weak foot, it does help with the first touch scenario. And just the more you do this, the more you're going to feel confident with bringing the ball down out of the air in the game or even at practice. This next drill is again very simple, just getting a simple strike with the laces down the middle of the goal, working on that shooting motion, and I basically put this, uh, the ball at a standstill at the 6 yard line, so it's not difficult at all, just getting used to kicking the ball, getting a good strike on it, and just make sure you use both of your feet, because you want to improve your weak foot, but you also want to maintain your strong foot. So I actually started at the 12 yard box doing 9 reps of each foot, however the footage wasn't the best so I decided not to put in the video. So I, that's why I'm showing the footage of doing the same thing as the last drill except the balls are left at the 18 yard line. So you kind of have to do, a, you kind of have to get a better strike on the ball and just kind of used to more, more game like because you're not really going to be at the 6 yard box all the time. And now I'm just going to let this play out for a little bit. Uh, just remember to do the same amount of reps on both sides of both feet, just to make sure you're getting improvements on both legs. At this point, you could probably tell that my left foot is my weaker foot, but that's why I'm here. Especially after a week-long vacation, you just gotta come back after a long break and get some touches in. As long as you incorporate these simple drills into your training sessions consistently, your weak foot will improve over time as well, even if it doesn't show right away. So don't get frustrated and keep training. And something that really stuck with me since I was a little kid was that small improvements every day equals big improvements over time. So this next variation is very similar. It's between the 18 and 22 yard area of the field. Um, you basically do a roll to shot. So you, as you see here, I roll to my roll the ball with my foot and then just get a solid strike again down the middle of the goal. And of course, you always got to do it with your opposite foot. So I'm just gonna let this play out, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next drill. At this point, I already finished all of my reps with the striking, the roll to shot at the 18, about the 18 yard area. 
So I decided I wanted to work on my free kicks a little bit, and uh, especially with my left foot. So as you can see here, I left the ball at about 20 yards away and just kind of wanted to get a, a good bend to the far post. At this point, I decided to have a little bit of fun with it, so I decided to juggle for a bit, uh, turn around, and get a, just a solid half volley into the goal. This next draw I decided to do because it was a beautiful day. Even though it was freezing outside, I just wanted to make the most out of my session. So at this point, I was already there for about an hour, hour 15, and I just wanted to improve my close control dribbling a little bit. And basically what it is, it's called the directional run all game. You basically put a bunch of cones or whatever you got, rocks, shoes, water bottles, anything, down in a random order, moving in more of a, a linear fashion. So as you can see here, I just do uh, just freestyle dribbling through going forward for the most part. And 10 yards away was a cone that I turned at with the outside of my foot. And then I go through the go through the cones again, do a move with the, a cone that was about 10 yards away, and just get a, a, a strike on the goal. Thanks for watching guys. If you made it to the end, hit that like button and leave a comment down below to let me know what I can do to improve in the future.